One, one engage unit. And you know what, we'll take it. We will take it. Ivy is here. I'm really excited about this. <laughs> so, all right, let's jump in. Uh, let's see where everyone ranks. And yeah, did you guys know it was National Bikini Day? I, Twitter just told me. I had no idea that was even a thing. <laughs> all right. Here is Ivy. I, I, I mean, she looks fantastic because of course she does. She's Ivy. Let's read this, this thing. This is just like the warping goddess. This is divine drought. So we've got slang. Um, if unit is within three spaces of support partner and she is very support partner dependent. Uh, at start of con or a unit can move to a space within two spaces of that ally. Keep in mind any of these support partner things, they are only good in the hands of the player. So this is not a defensive unit. She's not gonna be good on ARD or anything like that. On AR offense, if you want to use her there, she's great. And summoner duels is really the thing that they're focusing on. Back to what we're doing. Um, at start of combat, if unit's HP is over 25%, you get Omni plus five unit during combat. And also, okay, if unit initiates combat, unit is within two spaces of, of, of a support partner or penalty is active on foe grants the following effect to unit during combat based on how many of those three conditions apply if it's two you get brave if it's three you get true damage that is 15 percent of units attack or foes attack whichever is the greater uh, excluding aoe's so we've got glimmer we've got stillwater four we've got sabotage ar and we've got soaring guidance I had to read this several times to get what this thing was compared to our regular guidance. So infantry and flying allies within two spaces of unit can move to a space within two spaces of unit. Grants attack speed plus three to infantry and flying allies within two spaces of unit during combat. And also if those allies speed is greater than foe speed, neutralizes effects that prevents those allies fo follow up attacks during combat. I don't like it. <laughs> I went, over, I went back and forth on this over and over, and I'm like, is this just power crept guidance? Uh, guidance for? Here's the thing. I Armors being able to warp is huge, huge, huge deal. Um, I use it constantly in Aether Raids. Uh, on offense and defense, it makes defensive armors actually effective as combat units when you have Guidance 4. And Summoners, you know I went hard on Guidance 4. <laughs> so I've got it on both Peony and on Plumeria. And yeah, I the, the ability for other flyers to warp is good, but a lot of flyers don't have the mobility problems that armors do. Uh, it's, yeah, it, Infantry is good, and this is still a very good skill, don't get me wrong. I prefer Guidance 4. Soaring Guidance is going to be excellent in Arena. And Arena is going to be amazing, because who uses armors in Arena? That's just suffering. <laughs> Apologies to all you guys who have to. The big question for this unit is, can this unit quad? And that means that you are completely gutting this kit. Um, your, your Stillwater 4, I don't even understand. Like, that is... I, yeah, I guess that is to go with Sabotage AR3, but generally what I, I would rather see here, and it, it depends on her speed, she's quadding in the replay that we're about to see. Um, if she's got good speed, though, then you're going to want to completely change this to a speed kit. And, yeah, um, an interesting thing to think about, we've been talking about this a lot in the Discord, if she can quad even if she can't quad brash assault four would be kind of ridiculous on this unit so that would guarantee a follow-up so you've got quad regardless of how she's doing and she's probably going to take a lot of damage and that gives her some survivability and that's not a small thing uh, in today's meta, that is very good and would allow her to get the full quad uh, because, I mean, that's everyone's dream, right? Four hits in a row. <laughs> um, as far as the special, I, we'll see how the kit, how the how the stat line comes out. I'm really curious. I think this unit is going to have speed. We're going to see it right here. Quad. So obviously she's going to be fast. <laughs> I, I don't think she's going to be slow. 
is the real thing there. Um, moving on to Fjorm, because God knows I've talked about that. Uh, I talked about Ivy in a lot. This is fascinating. I We went back and forth on this unit. Well, I went back and forth. Um, everyone else seems to be sold on her. Okay. Another God Sword. I, I know. It's another God Sword. <laughs> They're just... Shamir stocks are just flying through the roof. Icebound Brand. You've got Slang. If foe uses... If foe is ranged... Neutralizes effect that prevent units counterattack during combat. Fantastic. Um, if unit initiates combat or... Uh, okay, let's go back to that. If foe uses bow, dagger, magic, or staff, neutralize effects that prevent units counterattack during combat. You really, really wanted full no follow-up. That is a big, big deal for Omni Tanks. And we missed it there. So, I, I, half no follow-up is good, but yeah, that that is, that is something that... To think about. I would rather have that gone and replaced with something else and then get an external no follow up than waste a spot. Um, I, Oblivion used a term about a, a um, <laughs> what is it? Skill economy in a weapon. <laughs> so yeah, I, I would rather the skill economy be moved somewhere else. So if foe initiates combat or foe's HP is greater than 75% at start of combat, grants Omni plus five to unit inflicts penalty on foe's attack and speed equals 20% of unit speed at start of combat. That's really good. I So that gives her that extra speed that we were worried about. I believe that's visible, and you guys can correct me in the comments below. Please do. Um, inflict special cooldown. So we've got guard, which is also very good, and reduces damage dealt to unit by five when foe's attack triggers units special, excluding miracle during combat. This is a really good. This is a really good weapon. Like I said, I wanted full no follow up. Um, other than that, though, I like everything that's going on here. Frostbite mirror reduces damage from foe's attack by X percent if foe's range equals one equals ten. If foe's range equals two equals thirty. But the fact that you get damage reduction from both melee and ranged is a big, big deal. That is very good. After special triggers, unit's next attack deals damage equals total damage reduced, so it's the whole ice mirror effect. Um, at start of combat, if unit special is ready, unit can counterattack regardless of foe's range during combat. So we have distant counter that is dependent on frostbite mirror being ready and we have times pulse four so that should be doable but i that's such an interesting thing i i'm frostbite mirror is a very good special i that's all i've got to say uh but that means that you can run attack speed finish four in the a skill and not have to worry about running dc which i cannot tell you how good that is uh but anyway this is a really really interesting unit um, you are deathly afraid of guard <laughs> with this unit. Deathly afraid of it. I yeah. It, I, one of the biggest things you can give this unit is probably one of the 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 steady breath or not steady breath, but actually the um, the I'm blanking the speed breath <laughs> seal. I would I would say that was a requirement because guard will just not be well i times plus four doesn't work off guard though so i forget what i'm saying i'm i'm yeah <laughs> this is really good i mean pulse smoke is going to be an issue in modes like summoner duels but this isn't really a summoner duels unit i'm just going to put that out there all right we've got spurn four which is new and we had this in the data mine i almost a month ago i'm surprised it took this long um, inflict speed defense minus four. Excellent. Uh, if a skill compares unit speed to ally speed, so all of these damage reduction things, you get the phantom plus seven. Um, if unit speed is greater than foe speed, reduces damage from attacks. It's basically the 50% thing again, which is very good for all of these dodge four skills. Uh, if unit's HP is less than 75% and unit's attack can trigger unit special. I don't like that under 75%, by the way. 
deals plus five damage when special triggers. So you get extra damage if your HP is low, which you never want your HP to be low, but I, you know, that, that happens. That means the damage will come later in the combats though. Like the the first couple of combats, you won't have that, <laughs> that, uh, H, that uh, plus five damage. So it's just less good. If foe's attack triggers unit special, which for this unit, that will just always be the case. Uh, unit's next attack deals plus five damage resets at end of combat. So there's a potential plus 10 damage there, but still, uh, Spurn 4 is very good. Um, uh, units that are going to like this most, I mean, this unit is going to absolutely love it, obviously, but <laughs> I'll have to look at this and, and, and figure out units that will like this more than Close Call. My, my initial thing is probably every unit will like it more. <laughs> But we'll see. Extra damage is just... Uh, true damage is always amazing. And we have times pulse four. <sighs> the question is, and we'll have to see, and I think the answer is yes. Can you run null counter disrupt four in the B skill? And if the answer is yes, then this is a very, very good unit. If the answer is no, you're going to have issues. <laughs> so... Just keep that in mind. Um, there are, you remember the old way we used to deal with Corrin when she first came out in Arena is you used to hit her with uh, with a, a, a healer and it would knock the special acceleration train down just a little bit. So I think with Times Pulse 4 that shouldn't be an issue, but obviously I'm having trouble converting over the Times Pulse 4 thing. So <laughs> I summoners, yeah. This is a really good unit. Next. Oh, we have... <laughs> okay. I I mean, the, the bubbles are great. Why don't God Swords get better animations? We have Tharja with a... A little ray? Or... I don't know. Some sort of invertebrate floating around there. <laughs> Seashell Bowl. Um, okay, I, I Speed Res Far Trace, very good to have on a four-star demote. Uh, well, four-star special. Uh, seashell Bowl, if unit's HP is greater than 25%, grants attack speed plus five to unit during combat. Inflict speed res minus five on foe during combat. X equal, equals 25% of unit's HP at start of combat, max of 10, and restores 10 HP to unit after combat. Is this good? Yeah, uh, sure. I mean, but it's, it's a demote. <laughs> <laughs> is Tharja awesome? I, I mean, Tharja's great. See, that's a good animation. Not as good as the one you're about to see, though. All right, Seasons of Life. You gotta love Emir and Air. I mean, yeah. <laughs> okay, we have Colorless Infantry, and this is an interesting unit all around. Sparkling Sun, we have cooldown count minus one, so we have Slaying. If unit is within three spaces of an ally, inflicts attack res minus X on foe. X equals 30% of unit's HP at start of combat, plus six. Max of 18. <laughs> and unit makes a guaranteed follow-up during combat. Reduces damage from area of effect specials by 75%. Uh, excluding Roker area of effect specials and restores 10 HP to unit after combat. And also, if foe can make a follow-up attack during combat, reduces damage from foe's first attack by 75%. So, I mean, I guess the, the thing is you want... you want the unit to hit you and then you get... I don't know. I... yeah. So that the unit hits you and then you one-shot back? Or maybe that's on the del oh there we go so this is a player phase unit so you're going to want to hit the unit they hit you back they can double but or they can double but that first one still gets 75 percent and you kill them on the follow up so that's that's the way that's supposed to work and this unit's going to hit really hard uh, attack res I, we've seen how well rains do and a max of 18 is big. Um, I wish they gave some benefit to their allies, but yeah. Uh, Moonbow, Fire Flood Boost. 
Yes, we have the boost skills. Grants HP plus five at start of combat if units HP is greater than 50%. Grants attack res plus 17 during combat. And also, if unit is within two spaces of an ally with HP equals 50%, inflicts guard on foe per attack during combat. Uh, we have Mystic Boost 4, so uh, also a fantastic skill. Um, yeah, there's a lot of debuffing. It's going to be hard to kill this unit. That's, that's going to be interesting. I'm starting to see the, the, Roker, the Roker effect. Like, they don't want you to be able to knock the HP down with a... Uh, uh, yeah, with, <laughs> with an area of effect special. So... I, this is, I'm, I'm having a hard time getting a handle on this. We've seen Ever Living Domain. If unit is within two spaces of any allies, grants defense res plus four. Again, hard to kill. And the following effect to unit and those allies during combat. If unit's HP is greater than 75% and foe would reduce unit's HP to zero, unit survives with one HP. You're never going to... It's going to be very hard to one-shot this unit. This unit is just beefy. And I, so it's not so much for this unit. This is more of a thing for other units. It just, yeah. <laughs> and the 75% is tough. Like I'd rather have Maria, hands down. It's, yeah. Still, I, when you combine this with a nuke, this is an interesting set of skills. Um, I, I may be low on this unit. I'm, I'm, I'm having trouble figuring out the exact use case this seems like a very niche unit and oh my god i love that animation yep we're going to watch it again <laughs> look at this what is this like flowers just pop up and that last one just boom <laughs> it's like a jack and the beanstalk thing or something this duo skill is very good though uh, neutralizes any penalty on unit and allies within two spaces of unit, unless you're using Robin and then legendary Robin, then you're just not in a good way. Uh, but restores 20 HP to unit and those allies is is excellent in summoner duels. I cannot like the amount of times that you use Duo Duma's duo skill and appreciate the healing are just astronomical. It's fan freaking tastic. So this is a good duo skill. Um, the unit itself, it, it's just. I mean, colorless infantry, it's a good color. It's its a really interesting use of the unit. Uh, keep in mind, a lot of the units you're going to be tacking into have no follow-up, like saviors or anything. So I'm not sure who you're going to kill with this unit. Like, one shot isn't going to be enough. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm going back and forth on this. I'm, I'm not just super high on this unit, but God, I love that animation. <laughs> All right, all right, summoners. Enough of that. We'll see the story, and I'm sure it'll be fascinating. So uh, let's look real briefly at the stats. I'm, I'm going to have these posted so you can look at them there. Um, I, yeah, I mean, blue is... Uh, if you're getting Tharja, it's it's going to take you 353 orbs plus 10 or So if she's your favorite, then more power to you. Um, we've seen that colorless has been just increasingly getting worse and we're not seeing any anything in sight that's going to help you there. Ivy though is, I mean, 76% uh, chance of getting her before the spark is pretty fantastic. So uh, keep that in mind if you're an Ivy fan, then that is something that, uh, that, that, that can, be, can be yours fairly easily. <laughs> so... Let's move to Ivy, speaking of her, and look at these tier lists and ranged nukes. This is where I've got her. I just, I could be wrong here. I don't see her in the same tier as Shez, Shamir, and Veronica. I, this might be generous because I think I have Elise on the other side of her, but I'm still waiting to see no counter disrupt for how prevalent it is and I, my my suspicion is it's not because i don't know how many people summon for gwen everyone's really been focused on the swimsuit units but yeah this is about where i have ivy she's really interesting we need to see her stats and she may move what i can almost guarantee you is she's not going to move into that meta tier she just doesn't have all of the stuff so, moving on to Omni Tanks, and I, 
I made an exception, I put three units in the meta tier, and of course they come out with a unit that I have in the meta tier. I don't know what the ceiling is on this unit, and consider just for a second how scary that is. <laughs> this unit has, Fjorm has a lot of good things, and that, that preference special is phenomenal. Really, really good. You don't have a whole lot of flexibility in her kit, but if you can just fit in Null Counter Disrupt 4, I, what can I say, on, on her bonus season, this unit is going to be bonkers. But Summoners, I am a huge fan. This, this is a very, very good unit, and I think probably, as far as how good she is, probably the best unit of this batch, which is nutty for me to be saying about a god sword, which we've had 700 of. <laughs> Summon for Shamir. Summon for her quickly. As far as Tharja goes, this might be a little bit generous, but I really like Shamir, so uh, she's not influential like, uh, like say, Inez or Manuela, who has such a good stat line, but I still, I, I think she's good. I think she will be better once we have the arcane blue tone. Moving on, Emir. Summoners, if you have, I, I want to know in the comments if you if you're seeing something that I'm not on this use case because I I may be missing something. But the miracle effect being 75%, we have seen that that is limiting. So I, yeah, is is she a good unit? Yes, tier one is awesome. Look at that. Uh, I don't. I, I I usually expect the newest duo to be in that meta tier though, and she didn't quite reach that level. Um, there are still a lot of folks who would absolutely love this unit, but like I said, I would rather have Maria right now, who should be in this tier list, and I just haven't put her in yet. <laughs> so if you're curious about Omni Tanks and where I'm ranking Fjorm and why, I've actually got in that Omni, Omni Tank tier list, I've got a ranking of skills. And you can see what skills she has and where they rank, and go check that out. Thank you to the members. You guys are amazing, especially through the slow months of Faye. Uh, things are picking up now, and I can't wait for some of the stuff we're going to see. Uh, yeah, summoners, take care and schedule an appointment with your Faye just real soon.